Sustainability. Sustainability goes to the very heart of modern banking operations. Banks need to demonstrate the most impeccable sustainability credentials for today's clients, regulators and legislators. One of the ways banks can accomplish superior sustainability is by closing large in-house data centres to move to a hybrid compute environment. So today we've come to Paris to see BNP Paribas, one of the world's leading financial institutions. And I'm here to meet with Constance Schalchar as head of uh, company engagement for CIB and chief sustainability officer for global markets. Constance oversees the sustainability strategy of BNP Paribas CIB. Constance, perhaps I can start by asking you, what is at stake for the financial services sector regarding sustainability and uh, what is BNP's approach to these challenges? Well, banks are enablers of the economy. And in this sense, as BNP Paribas is one of the largest banks in the world, it is our responsibility to foster impactful, positive change in collaboration with all our stakeholders. So our approach to sustainability is holistic. What we do is simple. We support the necessary transition of our clients, should that be environmental or social. How does the context of climate change impact the financial services industry? Well, globally, the evidence of climate change is driving a profound reassessment of risk. The vast majority of investors and lenders now recognize that climate risk is a financial risk. And as a result, they integrate ESG in the way they manage their portfolio. On the corporate side, most companies are now adjusting their business models to secure stakeholders' trust and safeguard long-term profitability. Of course, in this context, the financial industry has a critical and exemplary role to play. On one side, to foster, channel, and accelerate allocation of financial resources to finance positive business development, and on the other side, to enable mitigation actions on negative impact sectors. What kind of impact is uh, digital transformation having on your sustainability agenda? Well, digital transformation is a mega trend that has accelerated with the COVID pandemic. Our guiding principle is to use technology to improve the value delivered to our customers and to keep being faster, smarter and safer. We are automatizing our processes, industrializing our activities and reducing paperwork. Data, of course, is at the heart of our strategy because data is a competitive advantage. But digitalization has also an environmental impact. And this adds up to a never increasing demand for electricity and to rising carbon emissions. Today, data centers account for 3% of global electricity production. And the digitalization produces 4% of all global greenhouse gas emissions. That's why at BNP Paribas, as we are supporting our clients in their transition, it is also crucial for us to walk the talk by adopting the best practices when it comes to reducing the digital footprint of our IT and our operations. Iceland, promised land for data centers. We've come here today to examine exactly why BNP Paribas CIB have placed a portion of their data center footprint here. We're going to meet with Ricardo Jantarada, the global head of telecom and data centers, and with Gisli KR, chief commercial officer of AtNorth. How do you make CIB's operations as energy efficient and uh, sustainable as possible while guaranteeing constant availability and resiliency of your mission critical applications? First, we look at the adequate number of data centers to house those vital applications and obviously where those data centers should be located. And then we look at how those data centers are built from a, a physical uh, characteristics, physical security and IT resiliency. In 2018, we started a program to 
refresh and expand a portion of our high performance computing server farms. Um, the, this program was supposed to allow us to build a new data center which would represent 30% of our high performance computing footprint at the end. What this program allowed us is to reduce our energy consumption by 50% for this portion of the compute farm. And also, it allowed us to ensure that we would be using renewable and, and carbon-free energy. To do this, we came to the coolest place on Earth for data centers, Iceland. So, from your experience working with At North in Iceland, um, what can you tell us about Iceland as a location uh, for, um, for basing a financial institution's critical infrastructure? The Iceland project with Up North is one of the first data center projects that had a sustainability agenda. When we realized that our HPC server farm would keep on growing and growing because of the, the constant demand, we first looked at a, a new location to spread our risk and not to host all those uh, server farms in the same locations. But then we also try to improve the energy impact of those, this new location. And for this, we started looking at energy efficiency, origin of the electricity, and also network connectivity. We needed to ensure that those applications would work effectively in a, an environmental friendly place. For example, in our location here in the southern peninsula of Iceland, we have an average annual temperature of around 5.1 degrees Celsius, or around 41 degrees Fahrenheit. That means that uh, the investment in cooling infrastructure and overhead is lower, making uh, the footprint uh, more efficient uh, uh, cost-wise and uh, in regards to power efficiency. Uh, that, that creates a unique position for Iceland. That uh, power efficiency combined with uh, the source of energy here in Iceland is, uh, is, uh, is, uh, uh, makes the country very suitable for uh, sustainability and uh, environmental, uh, environmentally friendly data center solutions because the source of energy here in Iceland is 100% renewable energy. What would you say are a bank's main challenges and concerns? The high-performance computing workloads are growing. Uh, mostly the growth of those applications are, is related to um, uh, increased pace of digitalization within organizations. Um, that means that more compute needs to be deployed um, and the scalability uh, of where you can place that infrastructure is then, is then instrumental. Um, and that is uh, one of the perhaps uh, key value points that we have been trying to kind of uh, present is the, the scalability uh, of the footprint is, is uh, that it's un, undisrupted so that you can scale as you need. That scalability, and that is what we hear from our conversations, uh, similar to BMP's uh, uh, approach, uh, it needs to be environmentally friendly and environmentally responsible, meaning that uh, we need to ensure that, it, that growth is powered by renewable energy. We need to not only make sure it's powered by renewable energy, but it's actually uh, power efficient as well. I'm delighted now to welcome to At North's offices uh, the Honourable Thortis Koldbrun, uh, Minister, Iceland's Minister for Tourism, Industry and Innovation. Can you tell us why the, uh, the data centre industry in Iceland is growing at such a fast pace at this point and uh, what do you think is driving this growth? I believe there are two main factors. Uh, number one, there's just the in, in increased uh, demand for data centres in the world 
And then number two, both the competitive um, price of the electricity and then the uh, power efficiency here in Iceland. Iceland uh, is a leader in green energy and we have 100% uh, of our electricity is uh, renewable. So that's number one. The cold climate, uh, which we sometimes don't love, but <laughs> is definitely um, a competitive advantage because it reduces the need of uh, cooling, uh, electricity for cooling and therefore the electricity use. And uh, we have a competitive electricity prices here in Iceland in all comparison. And we have a robust electricity infrastructure as well, which is very important. So this all combined, and then if you add the new data connection directly from Iceland to Ireland, um, I would say those, mm -hmm. those things would definitely uh, are, are the main benefits of, of uh, Iceland and, and, and building up data centers in, in Iceland. And we have here, uh, as you mentioned, both well educated and capable workforce here in, in Iceland. And we already like, made a decision through policy um, to be a very innovative country. Um, we have a clear and, and uh, strong focus on, on being an innovative uh, country and we want to build on innovation in, in every sector 